Use any ATM of your convenience and stand a chance to win gold sovereigns. Lanka Pay. The agreement in principle with the ad hoc group of bondholders follows the initial agreement reached in early July 2024 on the key terms of a contingent debt treatment. Accordingly, defaulted bonds and overdue interest will be exchanged for new instruments linked for future GDP growth, governance and standard fixed interest bonds. Releasing a statement regarding the agreement in principle with the bondholders, the Ministry of Finance stated that Sri Lanka is expected to benefit from an upfront debt stock reduction of approximately 3.2 billion US dollars, which could increase to a maximum of 4.6 billion US dollars in the event of an economic downturn. Conversely, this amount could decrease to a minimum of 2 billion US dollars if Sri Lanka's economic performance significantly exceeds expectations. Furthermore, under the baseline debt treatment scenario, the government's debt service payments over the IMF program period will be reduced by approximately 9.5 billion US dollars. The average maturity of the bonds will be extended by over 5 years and the interest rate will be reduced from 6.4% to an average of 4.4%. Bondholders will also consent to a present value concession of 40.3% in the baseline scenario, calculated using a discount factor of 11%. In terms of the highest state that will result from significant economic outperformance in the future, bondholders' present value concession relative to the joint working framework has increased from 27% to 33%. Meanwhile, the Minister of Finance also stated that the government has finalized an agreement in principle with the China Development Bank on the key financial terms for restructuring approximately 3.3 billion US dollars of sovereign debt. This agreement is based on a set of terms initially agreed upon in May 2024. Accordingly, the agreement in principle with the ad hoc group of bondholders, the local consortium of Sri Lanka and the China Development Bank nearly complete Sri Lanka's sovereign debt restructuring exercise as outlined under the IMF supported program. Under this agreement, Sri Lanka will obtain relief of over 17 billion US dollars, which includes 2.4 billion US dollars from the Exim Bank of China, 2.9 billion US dollars from the Official Creditor Committee, 2.5 billion US dollars from the China Development Bank, and 9.5 billion US dollars from the bondholders.